In this question, uh, there is a 62 kilogram skier that is moving at 6.5 meter per second on a frictionless horizontal snow covered plateau, which she and uh, when she encounters a rough patch, which is 4.2 meters. So it's always a good idea to make the make a rough sketch as we are progress as we are reading the question. So this is a 4.2 meter rough sketch, uh, rough uh, rough patch, and uh, the skier is moving over here at a constant velocity of 6.5 meter per second, and the weight of this, um, the mass of the skier is already given. Now, the coefficient of the kinetic friction. So this is the rough patch. The coefficient of kinetic friction is already given to us as 0.3. After crossing the rough patch uh, and returning to the friction-free snow, so this is again a smooth surface, she skis down, so she skis down perhaps like this uh, to a 2.5 meter distance. So uh, this is where she skis down and she is now over here. And this distance, this height is 2.5 meters with respect to the level where she is at now. Uh, so over here, uh, we have to find out how fast is the skier moving when she gets to the bottom of the hill. So she will definitely have some speed over here, which we need to find, and how much internal energy was generated in crossing the rough patch. Okay, so uh, let's talk about I think part B first because the uh, we we have to find the total energy lost in the form of heat because that is just converted as an equal and opposite is the internal energy so the work done by the friction is going to be a friction force times the displacement so the friction force remember is going to be um, mu k times the normal reaction and the normal reaction is n and d is d and the dot and so dot product and friction acts definitely over here and the displacement is here so the angle is 180 degrees so it's 180 UK is 0 0.3. Normal reaction is nothing but weight, and the weight is nothing but, uh, and this is a minus sign because cos 180 is minus 1. And as, as I'm saying, the weight is nothing but ma mg, so m is given as 62. 62. G is 9.8, and the displacement is 4.2 meters. So it's just a matter of calculation over here. Uh, let me just grab my calculator. So that's 0.3 times 62 times 9.8 times 4.2, which is coming as negative 765.58 joules. So this is the work done by the friction. So uh, the change in the internal energy, that's what is asked in the question, how much internal energy is generated. So let's call it U. The internal energy generated is minus of work done by the friction. So that's coming as 765. 0.58 joules and that would be uh, the answer to the part a uh, part b rather and then let's talk about part a now that uh, how fast is the skier moving when she gets to the bottom of the hill so first we need to find the velocity of the skier uh, at this point which is after crossing the rough patch so uh, definitely the friction will offer a deceleration so that's what we need to find the deceleration uh, is going to be uh, friction over the mass so the friction force is mu k times the normal reaction which is mg over the mass so the friction that's the deceleration is going to be 0 0.3 times uh, 9.8 which is coming as let me just uh, 0 0.3 times 9.8 is coming as 2.94 2.94 meter per second square is the deceleration which is offered okay so i'm going to use uh, uh, i think we can use the third equation of motion uh, that v square is equal to v naught square plus 2 as so v is something which we need to find the initial velocity is 6.5 so this is 6.5 whole square plus 2 times minus 2.94 times the displacement which is 4.2 4.2 so uh let me just grab my calculator over here. So that's coming as 2.94 times 4.2 times 2 and 6.5 square minus this and square root of this is coming as 4.19 4.19 meter per second up to two decimal places. So this is the speed. Uh, let's call it. This is the speed over here. This is uh, let's call it V1 and let's call this V2. So uh, we are going to rip. Please let's mark one over here just to avoid any confusion. Uh, now we can use the energy conservation. Uh, so we are going to consider two points and this is point one and this is the point two and this is our reference for the potential energy. So at one it will have uh, uh, the kinetic energy as well as the potential energy. So we are using energy 
conservation over here energy conservation so at one the energy is going to be kinetic plus potential and at two it's just going to be the kinetic energy because uh, uh, it is at the reference point so at one the kinetic energy is going to be half m v1 square the potential is, energy is going to be mgh and the, the final kinetic energy is half m v2 square so from here the value of m gets cancelled from all the sides we can multiply both sides by 2 as well uh, so this becomes v1 square plus 2 gh is equal to v2 square so from here v1 is 4.19 uh, it's just a matter of substitution and height is given as uh, uh, 2.5 meters so we are going to substitute 2.5 over here and this is v2 square so it's just a matter of calculation now so let me just grab my calculators 4.19 square plus 2 times 9.8 times 2.5 and the square root of this is coming as the value of v2 is 8.16 meter per second which is the answer to part a thank you